Hey there, Rabizi here with RicardoBueno.com and I wanted to shoot a quick video to give you, I guess, an overview of the new Generate theme from StudioPress. I've recently switched my site design to the Generate theme and I wanted to highlight some of the points as far as getting it set up and activated and really why I love the Generate theme. It's a pretty straightforward. The theme that I was using before was the Minimum Child theme from Studio Press, and I really love that theme. It's the theme that I'm currently using to run real estate blog topics. Uh, I just have the basic header, and what I loved about it is that it's, it's a lot of use of white space. Um, it's really neatly designed, and it just covers, I guess, the basics, which is what I really love. Um, but I'm using it here on the realestateblogtopics.com site. I'm using a custom menu and I've widgetized uh, the right header section of the site to include the navigation menu there. It has this sort of uh, welcome section where I can customize the welcome text here. I'm using a featured post uh, to include the, the content that you see here on the landing page. It has another section for including featured articles. I'm using it to display testimonial. And then down below, it has uh, widgetized sections for the footer area. So I've used that to include a secondary navigation menu, uh, a sample of real estate blog topics, and then just some introductory text. But it's, it's really neat. If I go over to the demo site and I show you what their blog uh, template looks like, this is it. You have your header, the navigation menu on the right-hand side, that's, which was exactly how I was using it on ricardobueno.com. The categories I was using that as well uh, to include, you know, my, the, the the primary categories that I talk about, and then here's of course your blog text. Uh, I was using, I was displaying a smaller excerpts from my blog post. I think I was displaying uh, 350 characters or so, and of course I had my footer sections widgetized. I had my sidebar content displayed on the right hand side as you see here on their demo. So anyway, this is the theme that I was using. Uh, I was using it for a while. I'm a big fan of the theme. I really love it. So I was sort of hesitant to change, but the Generate theme has this sort of um, featured box, as Derek Halpern would call it. Um, but it's really kind of built for, for lead capture, and that's what I really love about it. At first glance, it looks like oh, it might take a little bit of work to activate that section, but really, it's just a text widget. The Studio Press team has done a wonderful job of making this uh, easy to use straight out of the box. The only thing that needed to be done in my case was photoshopping this image here that I took from my about page and, and overlaying that text over it, but really the rest of this is just a simple text widget. You don't need to design that sort of header ribbon or do anything to style the, the background color here or really anything. All I added was uh, the text for the header and then my bullet points in HTML so that it includes that, that sort of copy, in other words, with the benefits of subscribing. And then, of course, this is powered by Aweber. Um, to do that, if you look at the widget section on in, in when you, once you've activated the generate theme, you'll notice you have that, of course, that header right where you can add the, the navigation, the primary navigation, just create a custom menu, drop your custom menu in there and that'll activate the navigation. You have your primary sidebar so you can include whatever content you want there. The only content I'm displaying is my Aweber subscription form for blog post updates and I'm using the Ad Rotator plugin to display these ads. Uh, if you click and refresh this page you'll notice that those ads do in fact rotate so they display different variations of ads there um, sorry and then if I go back you have your generate box and then your three footer widgets so here's how the generate box works like I said all you're doing is grabbing a text widget and dropping it into that section there so I'm gonna title this lead capture form and then you would insert your text here. So if I click Save on this and I go look at the demo site for where I'm displaying this, there it is. Again, this is all the the generate box is a simple text widget. All of this, like the red ribbon and that that sort of gray background that you see, that's already designed out of the box. You don't need to do anything, which makes this feature I think really great. 
Um, so all I did was I titled my text widget, and when you title your text widget, that's what adds the title on that ribbon here. And then you would insert your, your text or your copy to encourage people to subscribe, in other words, stating the benefits for subscribing, in here along with the HTML for your lead capture form. So if I go and delete this and I activate the widget that I'm using for that area, again, all I did was I titled my widget, which is get the real estate blogging blueprint. And all I had to do is add an image, which is what you see here. If I go to my header, this image was photoshopped. And it had to be done in, in, at the right height so that it doesn't get cut off here. It shows space. But that's really the only thing that needed to be photoshopped and added here. So if you look at the HTML, I inserted the image and I aligned it right. And then I have the HTML for my bullet points, which states each of the benefits for subscribing. And then again, I'm using the HTML for that AWeber subscription form. So if I click Save on this, and I go back and show you that demo, if I click Refresh, here you go. There's the title, we get the Real Estate Blogging Blueprint. Here's my bullet point stating each of the benefits. And then here's that arrow with the HTML for the AWeber subscription form. So the only thing that's that needed to be done here again was photoshopping this image so that it fits within the dimensions of that generate box. So if I go to my live, um, my, my main domain, ricardobueno.com, there it is. The rest of the site, it has uh, different color schemes. So if I were to go to the theme settings, you'll notice that it says generate theme color scheme. You have Generate red, generate blue, generate green, and generate orange. I'm a big fan of red, so red is what I'm using. But the rest of the theme is really out of the box. I'm using a primary navigation here. If I wanted a secondary navigation, it would be displayed down below. I'm using hooks to display this section here, kind of adds social proof. So for people that are new here, and I cover a lot in the real estate industry, I want them to know that I've been featured at these various conferences and on these websites it adds a little bit of credibility uh, to encourage them to subscribe so um, I'm just using hooks to display that here and then the rest of the theme is already displayed in this sort of magazine style that I'm a big fan of so here you have that uh, initial blog post you, then you have the second blog post and then down below you have two column layout and again it's that magazine style where I can click to continue reading either of those articles if I want to see any older posts just click on that link and it takes me to the older posts and again displays them in that magazine style that I'm a fan of um, and then down below I have my footer widgets so these again are just simple text widgets this is the WordPress testimonials plugin that I'm using to display uh, testimonials on a rotating basis and then again this is just a simple text widget that gives you some background into who I am and what I do uh, what I love about the theme as well is that I'm using on the subscription form, I'm creating a series, a seven part series, so seven, ser seven step series of tutorials. What I like about this is that if I were to show you, um, what can I show you here? So, like if we take a look at the shop page, we have these landing pages, or, or I can do like a full width page like this, where it gets rid of that sidebar and whatnot. But if I were to go to my confirmation page, here it is. This is what you get upon subscribing, but what I like is that this landing page template is already built into the theme. So you still have that sort of Ricardo been featured in, because I'm using hooks to display that on every page. But what I like is that you already have this sort of narrow uh, width to create uh, perfect landing pages for your content and for any tutorials or any sales pages. Um, so I'm a big fan of that component. But as far as the rest of it, it's pretty easy. It already works the way you need it to right out of the box. And just as I've shown you in that tutorial, um, it's pretty easy to enable this generate box. So that's it. I'm Ricardo, ricardobueno.com. If you have any questions on how to activate any of the features on a generate box, please leave a comment. I'd be happy to help. Oh, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was Here's what I've seen as far as results on using the generate box just within the last two days. 
Um, I activated this theme on Friday, late Friday afternoon. And if I show you um, December 17th, since December 17th at approximately 3.19 p.m. Uh, through the rest of the day, the last one on the day was uh, 10.57 p.m. And then, of course, today, Sunday, at 12.04, 5.57 a.m., 10.31, 5.56 p.m., these are all subscriptions to my real estate blogging blueprint based on this capture form on the home page. So is it effective? Uh, so far, I'd venture to guess yes. And I'm looking forward to testing the results over the next several days and weeks. Thanks again.